Hey Gender Blenders, it's Gavin, your new Wednesday guy. I hope everyone had a pleasant or tolerable Valentine's Day. If not for celebrating the love you share with someone else, then at least celebrating the love you have for yourself. Uh, my Valentine's Day was uneventful. My partner and I kind of share the same view about that day in that it's not really a special day um, because we do things every day to show each other that we love each other and, and care. Uh, we don't wait for one particular day of the year. So we don't really celebrate it, I guess. I mean, we acknowledge it and tell each other Happy Valentine's Day, but it's not different, like I said, because we do things every day. So. This week's topic is disclosure. Uh, do you disclose, and if you do disclose, when? This is an important topic uh, for the trans community. Um, for me personally, speaking from my experience, uh, since coming out as trans in 2008, I've only been involved with two people, uh, the first of which I was with when I came out, um, so obviously I disclosed. Um, the second person, the person I'm currently with now, I disclosed with in the span of the very first conversation that we had. Um, and this person fortunately was, you know, very accepting and open-minded and immediately went home and started doing research and educated themselves about who I was. Um, as far as other people, say, waiting to disclose, I can't speak from an experience, but, I mean, I can understand wanting to wait to see if the interaction with the other person is even going to turn into anything, um, particularly if you're trying to live stealth. Um, you don't <laughs> really want to disclose to every person you have one date with, um, so I can understand wanting to wait, um, but for me personally, um, that's probably not something I would do. Living stealth is not something I ever really plan on doing. Um, I usually disclose to anyone I meet, regardless of the interaction or the relationship, uh, simply because I use it as an opportunity to educate and enlighten, um, which I think is important in the area of the country I live in. I live in the South, I live in, in Texas. It's not very open-minded. Um, there's not many people that have ever met a trans person. So for me, it's important to disclose and use that opportunity to educate and enlighten and give those people, hopefully, a, a positive representation in their mind of a transgender person and of course you know I always specify that I am by no means a representation of the trans community as a whole I'm just one individual um, so you'll have to forgive me I'm a little tired um, my work day started at 4 a.m. so I'm a little drained so I hope you can forgive me for that Hopefully next week I'll be a little more peppy. So I hope everyone has a good day, and I will see y'all next week.